Sherry. I'll be showing you around BW Monday today as well as showing you how to take some nice Instagram photo just right here. BW Monastery is the only Buddhist monastery located in Woodlands. It was officially opened in 2017 on 10th August and boasts a modern oriental design with many Instagrammable spots. Shan Men or Mountain Door is also known as San Men or the Three Gates. This was originally built at the foot of mountains to indicate the presence of temples in China. The Sanmen also means the gates to the three liberations. This is an important concept in Buddhism. Jixiang Bao Ju Si symbolizes an auspicious place where the triple gems congregate. You might notice that we have written the character Ji differently from what you might see outside. Yes, we have replaced the Shi on top with Tu instead because it is more aesthetically pleasing that way. We are not the only ones to do so because renowned Chinese calligraphers Wang Xizhi and Yan Zhenqing have also written this character in the same way, resulting in it bearing likeness to the diamond shape. When you look at the center of the building, you actually see a facade of five bodhisattva. The bodhisattva in the center is Avalokitesvara Bodhisattva, who is also known as the Goddess of Mercy or Guan Shi Yin Pusa. The Bodhisattva is usually portrayed holding a jar containing drops of sweet dew in one hand and a willow branch in the other. The staircase right beside me is also one of our Instagrammable spots. First up, let's head to the stone statue of Kuan Yin Pusa. The stone statue of the Goddess of Mercy dispenses drops of pure water from the jar. You may collect a few drops in your hands, then rub your palms together. Apply this to your head, your throat, and your heart. This action symbolizes the quenching of flames of affliction in our body, speech, and mind. Next up, let's proceed to the other end where Tita Wang Pusa is enshrined. Along the way, you can notice this parapet that is nicely engraved with floral pattern, and you can even spot a booty tree back here to take a photo with. Next up is the stone statue of Ti Zhang Wan Pusa. With a pure mind and respectful heart, bow to the city garba bodhisattva three times, supplicate sincerely, and make an aspiration. Circumambulate the bodhisattva three times in a clockwise direction. Then, ring the bell. Congratulations! You have gained vast merits! Next up, the Jade Buddha. This is a 40-year-old historic Jade Buddha statue from Myanmar. The sacred enshrinement of the statue was conducted two years ago, in April 2019. We can pay respect to the Jade Buddha and make an offering of incense or flowers. Right behind me is the blissful highway of prayer wheels and let me show you how to do it. Did you know that by spinning these wheels, you can turn your life around for the better? There are 12 prayer wheels in total along this highway. Each of them contains a different sutra or mantra. Say Om Mani Padme Home as you spin each wheel in the clockwise direction. By doing so, you purify your bad karma and accumulate vast merits. That's all for the exterior of level 1. We have finished exploring the exterior of level 1, so let's check out the main shrine hall right now. So here we are at the main shrine hall, and there's a lot of interesting facts that I do not know about. So we have a special guest over, so let's go! Hi, Tian Yong! Hi, hello! I'm Tian Yong. I'm a full-time staff here at BW Monastery. 
This magnificent grand shrine hall can accommodate up to 320 people at any time during events such as Dharma assemblies and seminars. There are three Buddha and Bodhisattvas enshrined here, each representing perfection, compassion, and wisdom. They are Shakyamuni Buddha, which is enshrined with the Prajna Paramita Sutra, Avalokiteshvara Bodhisattva, which is enshrined with the Lotus Sutra, and Manjushri Bodhisattva, which is enshrined with the Avatamsaka Sutra. Here, the Buddha is portrayed to be seated on a lotus throne. The throne was painted by a top artist who specializes in recreating Tunhuang murals. You can also find statues of the Medicine Buddha, Maitreya Bodhisattva, Siddhigarbha Bodhisattva, and various manifestations of the Avalokiteshvara Bodhisattva in our Grand Shrine Hall. Hey Chaeyoung, I know that BW Monastery have a lot of interesting interest groups. I believe one of them is actually a sewing group. Can you show me some of their work? So, one of which, right, the most significant craft work is actually this banner, Big Tree Banner. You want to guess how tall this Big Tree Banner is? Mm, I'm guessing 5 meters? Mm hmm, almost there. It's actually 6 meters. Wow, I can't imagine the amount of time and effort they put into this. Yes, and it's everything hand sewn by them. That's incredible. I believe that takes a lot of patience and determination. Definitely. These cylindrical banners are called victory banners. They celebrate the Buddha's triumph over four obstacles that stood in the path of enlightenment. These are desire, pride, disturbing emotions, and the fear of death. The banners also represent the total victory of the Dharma over destructive and malevolent forces, as well as the affliction that we face and the activities of our body, speech, and mind in concurring them. Victory banners are also considered one of eight auspicious signs in Buddhism. Hey Chaeyoung, does that also mean that all these banners above is also handmade by them? Yes, all of them are handmade by our sewing group and each of them is unique. Wow, I believe that takes a lot of creativity. Definitely. Hey Sherry, I have something interesting to show you, which is the... Wood carving. So what's so interesting about this wood carving? This wood carving right, is made of Indonesian solid wood and is intricately crafted by the craftsmen in Indonesia. Wow, I wonder how long did it take to craft all this? It takes at least six months. Wow, that's a lot of dedication. Yes, and actually there's story behind every single carving. There's nothing that is repeated here. Oh, I wonder what's the story. Is there someone going to share us more? The Four Harmonious Friends is a story from the Jataka tales that describe the previous lives of the Buddha. Once upon a time, there were four animals that lived by a tree. They were an elephant, a monkey, a rabbit, and a bird, and they fought to lead the group. The four animals decided to give priority to the oldest and ascertain their age by declaring the condition of the tree when they first saw it. The elephant said, When I was young, the tree was only as tall as I was. The monkey said, When I was young, this tree was only a little sprout. The rabbit said, Ha, huh, say no more. The tree was only germinating when I first saw it. Then the bird said, Dear brothers, do you know how this tree came to being? I ate the fruit of another tree, including its seed, which was then excreted from my body. This tree wouldn't be here if not for my body waste. And so, it was determined that the bird was oldest among the four, followed by the rabbit, the monkey, and finally the elephant. The four animals lived in harmony from then on. Sometimes they played together, other times they helped each other. They would do so by carrying the older animal on his own back to form a stack so they could reach the food at the top of the tree. That way, there was plenty for everyone to eat. Communal harmony and respect for seniority are clearly the morals behind this story. But can you guess who the animals are? In this story, the Buddha revealed that he was the bird in a previous life. The rabbit, the monkey, and the elephant were his disciples, Sariputra, 
Mogaliana and Ananda in their previous lives. Oh yes, Sherry, you know that this spot right, is actually one of the Instagram most spot here. Whereby each time if we post something about our three big Buddhas and Bodhisattvas, right, our Instagram will receive a lot of likes. Wow, why don't we take a photo here together? Yes, sure. Okay, so you guys have met Chen Yong just now. She's actually part of the youth development team. And so, let's welcome them. Hello everyone, we are the... Youth, youth Development Team! Hajime maste, watashi wa Chen Yong desu. Minasan, shinnen, akimashite, omerito gozaimasu. Daika ho, ngo hai si shin. Ngo de gong zok daika, san lin fai lo, san tai ikin hong, man si yu yi. Bonjour! Joué, novelon chinois. Je m'appelle Ginger. Yorubun, sehebo mani paraseo. Che yorubun, zoe minida. Happy Chinese New Year! Hey Taeyong, why is the inscription facing inwards? Because it serves as a self reminder. Like, can you try reading the Chinese word? Mm, guan gong nian en. Guan gong nian en, which means to observe merits and appreciate kindness. In short, we say omak. This is inscribed on the back of the main entrance to remind us to see the good in people and recognize and be thankful for their kindness. We are currently located at level 2, where the kitchen, volunteer room and office is located at. We do have new volunteers who run interest group and classes. Let's welcome our Omnis facilitators who run weekly classes with our secondary school students. O N N N I Okay, we wish you a happy new year! Hope you gain many merits and a lot of Due to COVID-19 safety measures, we are unable to visit our level 3, but this is actually where most of our classes is held. Level 3 of the monastery houses a total of 8 classrooms that can accommodate up to 180 people at any time. Some of these classrooms can be combined to form larger spaces for various purposes such as carnivals, exhibitions, workshops and seminars. Otherwise, these classrooms are where we discuss the Dharma every week before the pandemic locked us up at home. In light of COVID-19 measures, the entire space at Level 3 has been assigned as monastic quarters and so it is out of bounds to non-Sangha members. We do host youth Buddhist classes right here, but let's welcome our class leaders. Hello everyone, my name is Yan Ning. I'm Shen Xiang. And we are the monitors of 21024. In this new year, we sincerely hope that the COVID situation will get better across the world so that we can stop maintaining the safe distancing. We also hope for prosperity and harmony across our nation. 在这新的一年里, 祝大家 心想事成,万事如意,身体健康 Lastly, Happy New, New Year! Hello, I'm the fifth year of the Fu Ban-Zan, Guo Peng. In the new year, I hope you can get a big fun. You also have to be careful. Happy New Year, everyone. We are the guys from Wisdom United. Class of 19G004Y. I'm Joshua. I'm Larry. I'm Jing Kai. Wish everybody Bu Liao Shang Xing, Bu Liao Hai Pa. Gam Gam Hua. Happy New Year. Hi everyone. Happy, Happy Chinese, Chinese New, Year. New Year. We are the I'm girls from 19G004Y. Hi, I'm Sethi. Hi, I'm Wilson. Hi, I'm Hanya. And we would wish, like to wish, wish everyone happiness, health, and peace. Yay. Hi, I'm Song Wei. 
Wishing everyone great health and fortune, and may our Dharma practice flourish. Hi, I'm Marcus. There is actually a balcony at level 3 where we can take really beautiful pictures, but let's check out some of the materials that was taken before COVID-19. I hope in this new year, I can have a smooth career, and more recognition and career progression. So you need to pu Huh? Huh?什么是福运啊我们要累积很多的福报Here's a popular space among many young couples who come to take wedding pictures. Doors designed in the modern oriental style are neatly lined up here, making a nice background for your photos. There are willow bonsai trees placed along the balcony at level 3. This also makes for a photogenic spot. Here we are at the Hall of Jewels. Located on level 4 is the Hall of Jewels, which can hold up to 400 people at any time. It is a multi-purpose hall where we have held various activities such as our popular pop-up market, Feast Up, exhibitions, carnivals, concerts, enrichment camps, panel discussions and seminars. The Hall of Jewels is equipped with a stage, a large screen display, superior sound system and soundproof walls for better audio effect. This is a place where our youths and friends have showcased their performing talents numerous times. Today. We are honoured to have Heyday CEO, who have prepared a little something for us. Enjoy!
千年又万年，我们走在相思湖畔，我们走在相思。Instagram spot. Follow me. I'm gonna show you how to take some nice photos just right here. Hey, do you know why am I here? The next time you come here, remember to check out our rooftop ornament. If you check it out above, you'll actually see something special. You'll see actually seven auspicious animals with a secret meaning behind it. Let me know if you actually know the meaning behind it. Hey, look at the little creatures on the roof. Do they look familiar? Well, you might have seen something like it in Chinese palace dramas. These mysterious animal figures are a unique feature found along the roof ridges in traditional Chinese palaces and some temples. Known as rich beasts, they represent honor and prayers for blessings and safety because the Chinese believe that it can help to guard against fires and lightning and dispel evil spirits. The rich beasts are typically lined up along the tails of roof ridges at the four corners of a building in odd numbers up to nine. The more there are, the higher the ranking of the building. At BW Monastery, there are seven of these roof charms. They are the dragon, the phoenix, the lion, the auspicious seahorse, the heavenly steed, the mythical lion Suan Ni, and the wind and storm summoning fish called Ya Yu. At the head of this procession is a deity riding a bird that some say is a rooster, but others think might be a phoenix. You will also notice other ornamental motifs that adorn our roof, such as a dragon's mouth and the Dharma wheel. Okay, here we are at our last Instagram roll spot, so let's check it out on how I take a nice photo right here. Happy New Year! We are the volunteers of Day by Day, Day Website Team! Day by Day is a website created for youth and young adults. We have a lot of interesting and meaningful articles and resources to help you in your day by day life. So today is Chinese New Year Day 1 and we have 7 days of treasure hunt campaign starting from today. So check out our clues as well as the website for more details. So please visit our website at the link below and subscribe to our Telegram! Subscribe! Okay, we have come to the end of our BW Monastery Chow. We hope that you guys enjoyed this video. As much as we do look forward to you guys coming down here for a visit, but do remember to be socially responsible by wearing your mask and make sure that you guys keep your social distancing. Meanwhile, do remember to check out our social media.